What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745. And in this video, I just want to talk about what books I picked up at the Three Rivers Comic Con. I was lucky enough to make it to this event in the past weekend, and there were a ton of great artists and of course a bunch of amazing books. I kind of spent more than I wanted to, but I picked up a few books that I've wanted for a very long time. So I was extremely happy with the event. With that being said, let's go ahead and kick it off with the first books we got for free. So there was two of us and we each got one free graphic novel with the price of admission. These are the two books we picked out. First, there was Moon Lake. Now I'm not too familiar with it, but it has pretty awesome art and it's also a hardcover book. So I thought it looked nice on the shelf. Like I said, we got this completely free. So a pretty cool thing the event was doing. Next up, I picked up a Transformers Revenge of the Fallen trade paperback. I'm just a pretty big Transformers fan in general, and we got there kind of late, so quite a few of the graphic novels were picked through. Still, though, I'm happy with it, and hey, we got it for free, basically. Now, first up is a really, really nice copy of The Amazing Spider-Man number 208. Now, we didn't quite pay full price for this, which you would probably expect because it's not a key issue or anything. It's just one I happen to be missing from my collection. So we started off the con by picking up something cheap. After that, I was on a special mission to pick up Steranko covers. So I don't know how many of you are familiar with his art, but Steranko is incredible. I love his covers. Now, according to my research, Steranko did a short run in Fantastic Four. And this run started with number 130. So this is the first cover we picked up. As you can see, there's Medusa on there. It looks like Thundra, Sandman. Basically the Frightful Four. Then he also apparently did Fantastic Four number 131. And this cover had the Human Torch, Quicksilver, Crystal, Black Bolt, and Karnak. A pretty classic cover, but of course the white is pretty brown on this one, unfortunately. The next Taranko cover though is very nice, pretty high grade, Fantastic Four number 132. And this is my favorite of the bunch anyways. So I was really happy to pick this up, but like I said, that's all the Taranko books we got for now. I'm hoping one day to pick up the King Size Hulk book that he did. That one's just my favorite cover of his by far. Now moving on to the key issues that I was able to get. These ones weren't nearly as cheap as the ones before it, but they're all books that I really wanted in my collection. So I was happy to get Devil Dinosaur number one. Okay, this book isn't too expensive, but I love the artwork on Devil Dinosaur. And I had a few of the other issues like I think number two, three, four, and maybe five, but I was missing number one. Finally, someone had it. Usually when I ask, they say, well, I have it, but I left it at home, or I left it at the store. But this was the con where I finally got it. So there it is, Devil Dinosaur number one. After that, it's a really awesome book, She-Hulk number one. This one I've been after for quite a while, but never found it in a pretty good grade for a decent price. Don't get me wrong, it's not a huge cost book, but at the same time, it just never fit in my budget. So yet another first at the Three Rivers Comic Con. After that one, I got another book I've been after for quite a long time. And unfortunately, with the movie coming out, it's gone up in price. That's because the New Mutants Annual Number 2 is the first, I believe, U.S. appearance of Psylocke. So yeah, it's a book I've been after for a while, and I wish I would have gotten before the new movie. Still, the price wasn't bad. And it's in awesome condition. And finally, my best pickup of the con. At least in my opinion. Tales of the Teen Titans number 44. The Judas Contract. This is the first Nightwing. So yeah, it's the one DC book we picked up. And it's one I've wanted for a long time. Basically the only other book that I really wanted that I couldn't get because it was too much is the first appearance of Deathstroke. But that's going to come eventually. This was pretty much kind of a step towards that. At least in my mind. 
So yeah, we got some really incredible books. And overall, I had a great time at the con. There was quite a bit going on, tons of artists, including Ron Friends who did Amazing Spider-Man number 252. That's the black costume cover, one of my favorites. And I do have an autograph from him. It's hanging on the wall already, so we'll have to show you that some other time. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and I do want to thank you all for watching. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below. That way we can do more videos like this in the future. That's it for now though, so please subscribe. And until next time, good luck and take care.